You can now receive up to 8 whopping percent crypto back on the crypto.com card. However, it's only if you do hold an obsidian black, a frosted rose gold, or an icy white. I'm going to be talking to you today about my thoughts on this new blog and my thoughts on this new implementation and what I think it means in a nutshell for crypto.com. So if you are interested in that, make sure you stay tuned for the whole video. Cheers, viewers. Still enjoy this one. Use the bilateral. <laughs> what is good, viewers of the tube? And thank you for coming and chilling with the real Satoshi Ioki. If you are new around here, then please take your time to subscribe to the channel and like the video. But only if you do find value in today's video. I only do want an honest community on my channel. And if you are new around here as well and you haven't yet followed me on my Twitter and my Instagram at Satoshi Ioki7, make sure you do do that just in case anything does ever happen to my YouTube account, I can still stay in contact with you. And if you can't wait to get a hold of me and you're just dying to say hello, then feel free to reach out to me directly and start chatting to me on Telegram. I do have a free group and the link for that Telegram channel will be in the description of this video. Uh, I must say, it is great to see that Crypto.com just Every now and again, they come out with a nice little surprise. So we are on the crypto.com blog, just for your information before we do start checking out this recent blog. Now I realize I am a couple days late on this article, but better late than never, okay? So don't give me a hard time in the comments section. So let's crack on into it. Up to 8% cash back on all purchases instantly on the crypto.com card. Let's have a read through here. Love the marketing here, by the way. Good on you, crypto.com. Today we announced the cashback for Crypto.com card has been increased 8% for Obsidian and 5% for Frosted Rose Gold and Icy Whites. Effective on the 1st of October 2020, card holders will get their cashback instantly to their Crypto.com app on all purchases. As the most widely available crypto card covering APAC, US, Europe and soon Canada, the card features a sleek high-end metal design with no fees and many perks. No annual or monthly fees, gotta love that. No fee ATM withdrawals, no foreign transaction fees, that is a beauty for travelers with a hundred percent rebate for Spotify, Netflix, Amazon Prime and airport lounge access for selected card tiers. Absolutely fantastic. If we keep scrolling down, the staking requirement for a metal card is as low as a thousand crow. That's a bargain making it truly the most accessible crypto card that offers the highest rewards with up to 8% cash back in crow rewards. See the full rewards below. Now let's just take a little bit of a look here. So this used to be 5% and this used to be 4%. So the Obsidian now offers 8% and the Frosty Rose Gold and Icy Whites now offer 5%. The J Green and the Indigos are unchanged, so bad luck for us middle class. Same with the Ruby Red and yeah, for you free guys out there, you economists, um, yeah, you are not getting any changes there. And everything else, as far as I'm aware, does remain the same. All right, so there are a couple of points that I do want to address about this new update. The first thing is the fact that I don't really love the fact that at least for the Indigo and the J Green, and to be completely honest, even the Ruby Red, there was not a slight increase in the cashback. Now I understand to get the Ruby Red, it's not too much of a crow investment. We're talking maybe, I don't know, maybe 120, 130 US dollars at the making of this video. But even still, right, they're still a valued customer. They're still investing. They're still staking their crow, all right? for a six month period to obtain the card and wait and be a loyal customer. So, you know, maybe at least a point 5% interest. So instead of just having a 2% back on the Ruby Red, give us a 2.5%. That would be really, really nice. And as for myself as a Jay Green holder and my lovely wife Karina as an Indigo holder as well, as well as many of you out there, because apparently the Indigo card, right, and the J Green is the most popular card. I mean, that's what it says when you go to order the card, right? It says that those two are the most popular. So if most of your user base are using J Green and Indigo, then wouldn't you want to give most of your user base a little bit of a perk, okay? So come on, like, we get 3%, bump, bump us up to 4%, for goodness sake. Bump us up for 4%, especially with the Binance card and the XX, SXP card coming out and throttling the space now, creating some serious game and competition. You know, I do talk a little bit about SXP and Binance as well on this channel. All right, and all right, yeah, of course. It's great that Frosted Rose Gold and Icy White get 4%, and it's pretty nice that Obsidian Black get 8%, but 
Of course they should. In my opinion, you know, they should get 10%. It's a ridiculous, I'm not even gonna talk about the number, how much you need to stay for an obsidian black, but you know, it's all good in the hood. But in my opinion, it's a real shame that they didn't at least give us ruby red holders or us indigo card holders or jade green card holders a little bit of a bump up as well. Oh, what? Are we not good enough? Are the middle class not good enough to receive some extra perks as well? All right, or it's only the super wealthy that get to enjoy the perks. I mean, they must be making so much money, Crypto.com, with all their benefits and all their Teslas and rewards that they're giving away and all the money they're gonna start now making from their exchange fee and all the rest of it. I'm not gonna go on, but all in all, you know, you know they're probably making a lot of money. The customer service is improving, but it's still not great. The amount of times that I speak to community members of you out there that have had ongoing problems or do have ongoing problems with the customer service of crypto.com about not getting cash backs or not getting certain rewards or soft staking rewards, it's just, so many different things out there, all right? And, um, you know, it really just is a bit of a shame, to be honest. So I really would like, to, well, I'd like to think that maybe there is a cashback increase coming for the lower tier cards sometime in the future. So that's point number one. Now, point number two, interestingly enough, it may be it's just a coincidence, but Binance Card have also come out and said at a very similar time that they will be offering up to 7% cashback depending on how much BNB you have staked on Binance. Now, I'll be talking about that in a little bit more detail in another vlog, but basically, the BNB you have staked on Binance, the exchange will all account to how much uh, rewards you will get paid out in BNB as well. And if you ask me, BNB is a solid asset to be paid out in, all right? That's like the dream, all right? So they are offering a 7% and then very shortly around the same time, crypto.com have increased their obsidian to 8%. So what's it gonna be? Binance gonna come out, okay, now we offer 9%. Oh, no, 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 Obsidian Black. Okay, now we offer 10. Hopefully until we get those percentages up. What's it gonna be? It's a really interesting time, and whilst I do love Crypto.com and I talk about them a lot, I'm not necessarily on the Crypto.com side. I always speak as objectively, objectively as I can, and I try and really just take a step out and see everything as it really is. So it's just a really important couple of points that I did want to make about this video. But you tell me, how are you feeling about these changes? Are you an icy white holder? Are you a frosted rose gold holder? Are you obsidian black holder? Are you happy? I think most of you are probably jade green or indigo holders. How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Do you think that maybe the business needed to conserve a bit of their funds? I personally think an extra 1% for all of them, you know, valued customers really would not be a lot considering how much money I know they're probably making behind the scenes. So give me your thoughts, all right? It's a really passionate topic. It's something I really do want to know about. And if you did find value in today's video, make sure you do give me a thumbs up. It only does take a second and really helps out in the early stages of this channel. Do subscribe to the channel and follow me on satoshioki7 on my Twitter and my Instagram handle and chat with me directly through my Telegram group, which is free. And the link for that group will be in the description of this video. That's it for today's video, folks. I hope you did enjoy the video wherever you are watching and at whatever time around the world. Peace out. Until next time. Cheers, viewers.